on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Yo, when necessary reach 200 plus subscriber, big up on yourself for that man, much appreciated, is it? Alright, so a long time on I request that video, you know, so faster, yo! When the tactics there with the formation, the brother, but you're not sure the, the formation and the tricks them all go on. See the people it there, you know. As a matter of fact, yo, I know I'm gonna copy my tactics and my formation to you know, that man and tell a man to you, know, brother. <laughs> a joke man, you can't copy it still, you don't use it, because they have uplift the youths to help them out, it's the rest here. So, let me kick it off like this, the formation I'm always a rock, in a almost every FIFA, uh, the 4 one 2, one two that's the narrow. It's at the left corner where you see the green arrow pointing, that's my go-to formation. So, when you see them 4 key positions, they will highlight, left back, right back, CDM, and the cam. For the formation to work, it creates triangles, meaning that it gives you a whole heap of passing option, tiki taka style. Yo, faster mind, I mean both triangles and angles, my youth. My, I'm done with much class, long time, my brother, my youth. I want this trigger on my chair, so my dog. Yo, brother, yo, my youth. I don't understand no what you're saying, my brother. Know yourself, my general. I'm going to break it down in a small detail so everybody can understand it. Simple, basic match, this is it. So, anywhere where you see the X, those are the end points of the triangle, meaning that the players with the X are the ones that create the triangle passes. Oh, so I said the man them with the X, and then man do the one two knockings around the field and create the pass them. Ah, oh, I understand now. Jano star, so the thing is simple. Exactly, the X man them. <laughs> yeah, we can call them the X man them. So the X man them are the focal point of the attack. Yeah man, I understand it now, so you can move on with the video, is it? Brother, stop rushing my video. Then tell us if you have patience, brother, when you play them game here. You know, you're not learning them general. Alright people, just a recap. Just always remember that the X-Men them, <laughs> I don't want them to farm the attack and create the triangles them on the field, alright? That's all you need to remember. So we're going to touch upon the tactics and instructions, you know? This is basically um, how the players move and interact with each other on the field. Here we have defensive and offensive, but we're gonna touch on the defensive first. So you have five defensive tactics, but I'm not gonna touch on all of them just for the purpose of this video. I'll be only focusing on the one that I currently use. That is pressure on heavy touch. Pressure on heavy touch. Yo, how would that do? So let me read the description for it. Your team preserves their shape until the opportunity to pressure appears. Pressure when the opposition takes a heavy touch. It's a loose ball or controlling a difficult pass facing their own goal. Yo, brother, yo my you know seen a red man my youth. What kind of big word really thing that you had with my youth? My man is not what I was just saying, brother. Bridging, you know, so you now listen, no matter what I say, my youth, all they do is interrupt my video, you know. The thing I left on the screen for you can read, boss man. But here we go and so I'm going to break it down again, you know, a simpler turn, so you can understand. So, what I say is that anytime your players them lose the ball, they're not going to press the next opposing team until they make a mistake, meaning that they over dribble or they take a heavy touch on the ball. Like, so, alright, yeah, press them boy there. So, you see it. Virgin, so you have to explain things man can understand my basics, brother. My youth, faster, brother. How are you dealing with my youth? You know, seeing a rate the youth stem, brother, come with all of a big word talking, my youth. Explain it things simple as that, no? Ball game. Virgin, you need to understand that I have to reach out to my audience, which is in the United States and the UK as well, brother, so they can understand what I'm talking, you know. And just for the Jamaicans, they're alone, you know, brother. Oh, so you sell out now. You remember where I come from when you have only 9 subscribers alone So you have a little 2 bliss plus you feel say You make it a no Okay Remember what popcorn tell you say 
Real thugs never forget the dumb plan now where them come from. You go and salute man, is it? Anyways, go on to the video. So, we're going to touch on the defensive width of the team. Naturally, I would put this on 5, keep it on balance, alright? We don't want it to be too narrow or too wide. The reason why I keep it on 5 width, it's because it helps the defenders transition back into their position, meaning that they're not too wide and they're not too narrow, so they can always cover the areas of the pitch. For the depth, it's pretty simple. The lower the depth, the more the players will sit back. The higher the depth, the more the players will push up the field. I personally keep my depth on 6, reason being is that this allows you to take control of the game and win possession of the ball real quickly. However, this will leave you open for counter attacks. Well, Andy, I understand the way I say yes, but why the sense you can put your depth at 6 and allow yourself open for counter attack? That doesn't make sense faster. Because I'm be a goal, I can start to concede, brother. Personally, why I play this way, it's because 90% of people who play FIFA 20 always have 11 men behind the ball with them drop back tactics and one depth. As I said in a previous video, it's better when you have the ball than your opponent. Meaning that if you have the ball, them can score. Alright, made this. Remember when Pep usually coach Barcelona in a theme days? Yeah, brother, them man usually live near your half, brother, and pass around the ball and knock it. Knock, knock, so you can't touch that, brother, after 45 minutes. The only way you could have scored upon them, man, is to get to look at one counter or a breakaway. Um, oh, and the sun we have to know, Chargy. Yo, you, they don't say I did it. Ah, it's a mess, you know. So when you have the ball, you basically in control of the game. You see, it? so we bring the Jamaican pep style to FIFA. It's rest in our terms. Alright, so we're going to touch upon the offensive playing style, you know, which is the attacking. So as you all know, you have four type of offensive style in FIFA 20. But we're only be touching on one of them, which is the balance. That's what I personally use. The reason why I love using balance is because the player then gel with this formation, meaning that everybody stick to the position where they might play, and it's easier to find a pass and place them nowhere to be at the right time. For the width, no, same procedure. Keep it at five. Leave that balance. You know, we love to have everything on balance, guys. You don't want the players to be too wide or too narrow, you just want them to be in the right position at all times. And for players in the box, I keep this at 4. Reason being is that you don't want all of your players to be running in the box and then leave you wide open for the counter, so keep that at minimum at 4. And for free kicks and corners, personally guys, I keep this on 1 depth. Reason being is that Heading in this game is useless, so squaring the ball only will leave you open for counter, so it's best to play it short. The same goes for free kick as well, just go for the goal, don't try to play it short and lose the ball and get yourself and open to the counter. So keep them on one guys, trust me. Alright, so on to the instructions. Now, this is the most important thing you guys need to get right, because if you don't get this right, the formation will not work. For the goalkeeper, have him come for the crosses, as well as sweeper keeper. For the left back and right back, have them on stay back while attacking, and set the run type to overlap. Well, Andy, oh, well, Andy, oh, what do you mean you tell me to make my left back, right back, stay back while attacking? You know what football faster, my youth. You know, so when Trent and Robert Sir tear up wing and a whipping ball upon Salamani and Robert are framing, you know what I mean? Stay back. Yo, this not make no sense what you tell me now. Yo, my yo, I'm gonna say a real man you find in a brother. I could never live a pool for not telling me this, brother. Wings feel like a tear up and ball for your whipping. And Bobby head to you. Bobby for me now. You're right, where you say yes, ball for your whipping in a box. But make sure when you lose the ball, you place them key and get back and win it. Now, the reason why I leave them stay back while attacking is because in game, you have a tactics which is a D pad. You can turn on attacking full box on and off and they can press up and down the field at any given time. Moving on to the midfielders, the first one I want to touch on is the central defensive midfielder. Now for that instruction, for defensive behavior, set that on to cut passing lanes. For the attacking support, 
so that to stay back while attacking and finally for the defensive position set that to cover center the other central midfielders don't change anything on them except for the defensive behavior which is to change that to cover center as well now for the central attacking midfielder which is the cam change the defensive support to stay forward and for the support crosses change that to get into the box for crosses now for the two strikers this is the key factor here guys for the supporting run put each of them on drift wide no sir this run this can't right right sir people don't make him chicken up on the one yeah a long time may i play striker every evening ball game if I go drift wide, I expect him to score a goal if I drift wide from the goal. Brother, hear me I say, stop telling people I'm foolish. If you would stop interrupting the video and give me a chance to explain, you'd understand why I tell people I'm using the instruction here. So people, the reason why I'm telling them to put the striker them on drift wide, it's because in FIFA 20, the game is very defensive, alright? So, your two strikers them are going to occupy the centre back. So, when I tell them to drift wide, the centre back will then follow them which in return will open space for the cam for exploit. Yeah, we know that actually make a little sense still. So, mega basically drift wide. Some other teammates them can get the space to score. Okay. Exactly. Another benefit as well is that for the attacking runs, put both of them and get in behind. This especially work if you strike them are very fast. Now, I'm going to show you a couple examples and how for the formation. I'm going to show you how the angles of them create. Alright, guys? Alright, so this example, I'm going to show you why my depth is so high so I can win back the ball a lot more faster. When it's not a man as brother, we are shush the man for another game, my youth. Oh, you mean him? Forget that. Every goal him score, him run up in that camera like him a top man. Dead in dead. Moving on, the example player with the triangle passes. Now De Bruyne. Well, they're getting the ball forward. They need to do that. Trying to get the ball in behind. Mamba, Mario, slap the roof in a brother. Yo, a good goal, lad. This example will show you why drift white instruction is important to this formation here. Keep the ball at the moment. Can be quick on the break now. He can put them in front. Yo, you know, see how Aguirre and Maris pull with them two centre back there. The run just have the niggle what more. Boom! Yo, I true, I thought faster, brother. It worked for real. <laughs> Yo, young grasshopper, calm down now. You're not saying any of that from today. Young grasshopper. Alright, so people, I've left some clips to go and roll. So, when a young grasshopper can go and take in the match, is it? I would have a dead boy! Bumbo Clay! Ball Silver! Boop! We have to see those Kevin De Bruyne! Ball look boy! Bumbo Clay! Dark swim the left and put it back on the right! We have to go for and relax! Yo, Parisa, same, so my score them going in real life now. Man, show the left and put it on the right and boom! Boom, boy! Boom, boy, Cleet, a good goal up, man. Not the ball, you freak. Bumbo Kleeta, what are you going to say? Whole pile boy! Move! Ball Sterling! Sane! One time! Boom! Bumbo Kleet, you! 
Yo, good goal, good goal, man, a good goal. Eh. Bombo cleat, dead keeper boy. Yo, and this is a man I try to get down to the same time. What a blood cleat this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I would have on the pentagram. <laughs> Boom. Yo, a big goal lot, brother. The man show him the left, then put it from the right. Yo, a big goal lot, man. Alright, so the people who made it to the end, thank you so much yo, for watching yo, yo, this video. Want some, want some, yo, a big intro with yo, the video in a start. Make sure to go subscribe and like the man thing, brother. Yes, see, so the man thing shot. So do it for, do it for your people, is it? Young grass are fan friends. Oh, wait. Fast fan friends. <laughs> big up on yourself, people. Until next time again.